economical aspect. Whatever happened to that China, my brother and sister, sooner or later it may affect us. Sooner or later, later. So now we need to back to Almighty Allah, my brother and sister in Islam. And see what Almighty Allah has told us in Al Quran Al Azim. That's why I mentioned at the first of my khutbah by saying that we need to return to Almighty Allah and submit ourselves to Almighty Allah. Why? Whenever Al Quran is saying something, we need to obey that. Allah told us. In many places in Al Quran Al Azim, it's in Surah Al Anam, it's in Surah Al Araf. I mean, Surah Al Maida, and other surah. Almighty Allah said to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, "I restricted you from certain animals. Don't touch that." This is the word of Almighty Allah in Al-Quran Al-Azim. And Almighty Allah gave us another way to slaughter our animals. Why Almighty Allah mentioned this? Almighty Allah wants good hell for me and you so that we can live in peaceful way. That's the reason Almighty Allah mentioned all this. But if we ignore that, there's an outcome. My brother and sister in Islam, a lesson is provided to us to give us guidelines. This is where you have to up to. This is what you need to touch. This is what you don't need to touch. Everything is in Al Quran Al Azim, the word of Almighty Allah. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the messenger of Almighty Allah that Almighty Allah has sent to us as a real prophet. How we know that? 1441 it goes. Allah has already prepared Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to left this message to his nation, to his follower, to his ummah. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, imagine 1,441 he go. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say Iza sami'tum bita'oon bira ardi Fala tadkhulu'a Wa in kuntum bi ardi Ma'atta'oon Wa in kuntum bi ardi Waqa'atta'oon bia Fala takharju fiya This is the word of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Prophet Sallallahu is talking about epidemic, about a plague, virus that will happen that world can easily inherit. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam left this message for me and you. And it guided us this how you're going to do so that that virus cannot spread among you. What Prophet Muhammad says is that they mean to be ta'un bel ard fala tadkhuluha Allahu Akbar Whenever you heard about Epidemic in one place. Allah, don't go there. 
For now, leave that place. Leave the place. Don't go there. No matter business that you have, suspend that business at that time. This is the word of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he said for them, Wa in kuntum bi ardi wa qa atta'oon biya fala takhruju fiya. And if you are there in that place and that epidemic happened in that place to you, in your surrounding, the Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi stay there, don't come to another place. This is the instruction from Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is the Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Meaning, and see what's happened. This is the wisdom that we are learning from today to guarantee us in one place. Look at them in sheep, in a place, in a hospital because of the word of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned already. To seclude it yourself. So that that virus will not spread among yourself. This is Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did not stop there. And he said, Oh my Ummah, don't forget this dua. Rabbana kshifa anna la adaba inna mu'minun. This is where we are now. Who will be the next? Which country will be the next? Which place will be the next? But before, prior to that, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, make this dua. Rabbana kshifa anna la adaba inna mu'minun. Cry out to Almighty Allah, O oh, our Lord. Oh Allah. Remove this torment from us. Oh Allah. Remove it. And you have the power to do that. For we do believe you. We believe you, Allah. Please don't touch us. Please don't make us suffer. For Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam touch us this dua. Imagine my brother and sister in Islam. Because of the love that Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam has for us. And I said previously. That we need to come back to Almighty Allah to repent to Almighty Allah. And before Almighty Allah that accepted our repentance, we have to see three things. The first one confession of our sins. Oh Allah. We really know that we did. We don't listen to you. We don't follow your guideline. This part of conviction. Oh Allah. Please. And the second one. Feel remorse for what you have done already. So that Allah can feel it from you that you really mean it. And the third one, a firm resolution to abstain from recurrence so that you will not let that happen again. This is what all Allah wants. 
before all men shall like easily accept our tower. This is what we need globally. Let's back to all men, inshallah, and seek the forgiveness. I can see the president of China went all around the mas masajid in China right now. Pray for us. Pray for what has happened. Wherever we are, let's pray. Let's ask all men to give forgiveness of all men to Allah. My brother and sister in Islam. And if we do that, Allah is dear to accept our forgiveness. How are we going to know that? All means Allah to us in Al Quran Al Azim. In the case of Prophet Yunus. Prophet Yunus, Almighty Allah, told him to command his nation, his follower, to believe in Almighty Allah, not to watch anything other than Almighty Allah for years. Instead of accepted, they ignore him. Then all men tell us, they leave them alone. I will soon deal with them. I will soon punish them. Don't worry. And let me tell you, any time from now, they're going to see the torment of all men to Allah. And Prophet Yunus alayhi salam did not know exactly. And before all men to Allah give the command, and Prophet Yunus alayhi salatu salam went out from that town, from that city. Because of what? He wanted to escape. Then all made Allah penalize him for what he has done. Why you did not wait for my instruction? We know the story. All means Allah made him responsible inside the ocean. Fish swallow him from dark to dark. But my brother and sister in Islam, before Prophet Yunus alayhi salam back to his people, then all may Allah, Allahu Akbar, is in the control of our affair. Allah shing the mind totally. To the extent that they really surrender themselves to all may Allah, to the Creator. They surrender themselves to Allah. Imagine. Then Almighty Allah save them from the punishment of Almighty Allah. That's why Almighty Allah says in Al Quran Al Adim. Falawla kanat qariyatun ahmanat fanafaha i imanua illa. Almighty Allah say, was there any town that believed after the punishment comes? Because whenever Almighty Allah decided to torture a town, a city, with the punishment, no one will stop Almighty Allah. Allah will destroy them. This is what exactly happened. To the people of Hud, Samudawa, and so on. But for the people of Yunus, all men Allah said they escaped that. Illa kama Yunus, lama amanu kashafna anu adab al khisi fi al hayat al dunya. Allahu Akbar. 
All my intellects except the people of Yunus. When they believe, we remove the chastisement. That azab we remove for them. So mean that we still have the opportunity, my brother and sister in Islam, let's back to all my intellect to seek his forgiveness. Let's back to all major Allah. Allah can forgive us globally. Because when we are saying that Allah, Allah has many names. Allah has many names. And all major lies in control, like I said previously. All means Allah has many names. La Rodda, Likodahi. When all means Allah make decision that this is how I'm going to do it. No one, no one in this life can repel on that decision. This is Allah. No one to postpone his command, his command. When all men tell like this is how I want it. No one can postpone it. This exact time. No one can postpone it except him. No anyone to overcome his order. This is the reason we need to turn to all my intellect. Nothing happens if what all my intellect wish. That's Allah. So, therefore, my brother and sister in Islam, this is the time. Rabbana kshifanna azaba after was salat. Rabbana kshifanna azaba inna mu'minun. So that Allah can save me and you. Wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sallam. 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 Kiniti Ambara was of Onani Lati Wu Onati Esinwa took by Wu in Tun Shelley, Catholic Korawa Le Colorie Onani Pit Ubuntun Shelley, Kodumawa, Kaki Rabalai, Ama, but also we pay Kokawa. Awa no ayena. Loku ba tu jasi pa awa ni no ayena. Awa nan la ti wa anka kan si. Ko sin ta li si. Nyo ju pe olon fe viki niye. Ko wale ko ke ki gugu wa. Ka ju wo ju se fun olon. Ka ma kon lo da wa. Bere la tori bi to di se wagan. Tori ik be se aye ti awa yon bele ni. Ni pe ki lo lan wo se. Ni ti o si ni du ma lo wun nu. Gugu wa gbara ta wo kale ni. Bubu ogun ta o kale ni ko wa lati bi kankan jodo Ologun yi lo ta ba ti wa mo be o ya ka wa fi owo fun oba to ni wa na ka si ma tele ase ke ba ti se awon alaye fun wa ama yi to wa ju nbe lori bi oro ti wa ri na ni pe ki gugu apada lo sodo Ologun ka ma wa furiji ko Ologun ko le furiji wa o lagbare agbare isu ike isu ko Ologun ko wo la be ko Ologun ko sanu ko ma fi aje wa اللهم اغفر لنا وارحمنا وارض عنا وعفينا وعفوانا يا رب العالمين ربنا لا تزك قلوبنا بعد إذا حديتنا وأبلنا من لدنك الرحمة إنك أنت الوها إباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والحسن وإتاء ذي القربة وينع عن الفحشاء والمنك البقي يأذكم لا لكم تذكرون وأكيموا الصلاة
الله اكبر الله